Hi guys, it's Nathan from JNS. I just wanted to let you know that we've got these C3s in. They've come down in price quite drastically since they were first came out. So we're just going to little, do a little overview, a little review, just to let you know some of the features they've got on them. So, a lot, obviously a lot of you guys know that the C3's been out for quite a while now. Uh, the, shell, the shell and the shape of it stay quite the same, so it's got quite the old school look, uh, which a lot of people do really like about it. It's also really aerodynamic, uh, as you can tell, because there's no massive vents or wings hanging off it. Nice and aerodynamic. We'll bring you in a little bit closer in a minute, we'll have a look at some of the features that they've got. Like I said, I'm going to bring you a little bit closer now, just to have a little bit more of an in-depth um, sort of look into it. So, first you've got this air vent at the front, which will provide a lot of air cooling for, for yourself and the EPS liner, which keeps you nice and cool. You've got your massive visor here, which people love uh, because of the massive vision you get out of it, it's got a really big aperture. You've got your opening at both the left and the right side. You've got your internal sun visor there, which is an optically correct internal sun visor, which a lot of companies don't have. Um, and it's a re it, it does make a massive difference, and I would rec definitely recommend coming and trying it on just for that. Uh, your internal sun visor is just activated on this bottom left part just here. Move it forward and backwards, and that'll bring it up and down. Moving a little bit further down, you've got an air vent here, which brings a little bit of air towards you and also towards the visor, which helps prevent steaming and everything. Underneath the helmet, you've got your release just there, the little red catch. You press that in and the visor will meet up with the chin bar to make it a little bit more aerodynamic when it is flipped up. If I look, take a look inside the helmet now, Shoebirth uh, are renowned for being really, really quiet helmets just because of the massive seal that you get around here. And they're also one of the only helmet companies in the world to use an acoustic and uh, use a wind tunnel and acoustically check their helmets on the inside to help reduce that wind, uh, wind noise and sort of road noise as much as they can. And you can see around there, the massive seal, it will be really difficult to try and put the helmet on like that and that's why they have flip front helmets. So you've got the ratchet system on these ones, these ones are a really secure ratchet. You just push them in like that, a little red release, and you take it out nice and quick, no double D-rings faffing around with anything like that. Uh, what I'll do now to take all the cheek pads out and everything like that, I'll let you have a look at the EPS liner and the cheek pads. So guys, that was a sort of overview and review of the Shoebus C3. If you've got any questions or anything like that, drop us a, a sort of comment or come and visit us in store and have a chat with us.